Hey folks, it's Bishop Eels from the ECF Forums, baby, and a host from Vape TV. How are you guys doing over there today, baby? Well, I'm freaking here because let me tell you, the mail has been coming in about cotton hemp. Well, let me tell you something. They asked me, can you do one on the trident? I don't have a problem, sure. You know what it is? I have a lot of silica, so I'm just trying to wear that out. But I still have cotton hemp. And on this build right here, as you can see, this is all cotton hemp that I have here. Now, this is a fresh coil build. Um, matter of fact, let me uh, zoom it in so I can actually show you um, how it actually looks like. See that? Okay. So, I got ribbon wire. Okay. And as you can see, the texture of it, it's very, very, very different. Okay. This, the flavor to me is just incredible. Now, when you put, remember, if you've seen my previous video, all right, on how you prime the cotton hemp, it's very, 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 very important. Watch it if you have not watched it, okay? Um, instead of me boring people that already know how to use it, all right, I'll give you a friendly advice. Take the cotton hemp, cut the pieces that you're going to use, Boil it in hot water for a good 5-10 minutes. Remove it. Paper towel. Tap it on. Put it in the microwave for maybe a couple of minutes. You just want it that it's still a little damp. Okay? Dry, but damp. Put it in a Ziploc bag for later usage. That's it. So, when you put this on, which is on, okay? Remember, there's cotton in there. Cotton burns. So you want to make sure that the wick is completely saturated. I mean saturated. Or in BSP's words of what he loves to do is flood the freaking thing. Forget about it. So if you think of flooding in your head, it's a good thing. Okay. So, get my juice ready. Prime it up just a little bit before I actually start putting in the sleeves. I just want to make sure... It's primed. I think I primed it a little too much for now. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the sleeve. That's right. special way I like doing it see okay I like to put the the rings of the wick around the actual screws okay it's a little easier so now I'll put the sleeve and I'll make sure that it's positioned the holes are right by the coils very very important okay now that the sleeve is in let the flooding begin. Forget about it. And I mean flooding. Like so. Okay, see? It's nice and flooded in there. So now, test it. And she's firing alright. Real nice. Real nice. Okay. So that's looking good. So now let's vape this thing. Hmm. Wow. Wow, the flavor just comes alive, I tell you. Totally, totally alive. Somebody call the fire department. 
Forget about it. Oh, man. <coughs> the flavor is unbelievable. Wow. Wow. See, this is what I do. I use this Ziploc and I put in already my primed um, cotton hemp. Okay, all this has already been boiled. Okay, and it's already been nuked in the microwave and it's already in my Ziploc. That's all what I do for later usage okay and it's so cheap because you know bullion is like maybe <coughs> three to six top seven dollars it shouldn't be more than that but it's the Martha Stewart line is the one that I'm using and man what else can I say about it I mean it's just had some more juice to it Mm. Wow. Delicious. <coughs> so, that's Cotton Hemp, baby. Kicking ass on the Trident. On my GGTS Stealth. Forget about it on 18650. All full brass. Woo, forget about it. This thing is kicking ass. Oh, So kicking ass, it's actually whistling at me. Isn't that impressive? It actually whistles. Forget about it. <coughs> so with that, I'll let you guys go. Live hard and fake hard, baby.